My name is Deniz Ertaş. I am a senior research associate at Corporate Strategic Research Laboratories at ExxonMobil Research and Engineering. My name is Jeff Bailey. I'm a drilling mechanics advisor at ExxonMobil. Basically, in drilling operations, uh, to drill a well, there is a something called a drill string, which is basically a very long pipe that connects a big motor at the surface to the drill bit at the bottom of the hole and needs to rotate it. Uh, and this drill string uh, can have uh, vi vibrate can vibrate because it's it's like a string in a guitar. So therefore, uh, and when it vibrates, it could cause uh, a lot of damage. So this patent gives us the capability to understand the, the primary factors of torsional vibration and to do a comparative analysis of different drill string designs so we can design the drilling tool understanding what the effect on the torsional vibrations are going to be and select the proper string for the application. What this patent allows you to do is basically it introduces a method that allows you to uh, calculate the motion of the drill string at any point as a function of its motion at some other point. So what that allows you to do basically is to monitor the motion in one end, for example, and then be able to deduce uh, what's going on in the other end. With this technology that by monitoring the surface torque, we can determine what the severity of the vibrations at the bit are. And so by doing this with uh, propagation speeds of the speed of sound in steel, as opposed to an update of every few minutes with uh, mud pulse telemetry, uh, we can measure in real time the, uh, the max and min speed of the bit. There's a deep water interval in the Gulf of Mexico, which uh, the first time we encountered it, it, took us three weeks to drill through. And the last time we were there, we got through it in one day because we applied this technology. Previous thought was that if you rotated the, the top of the string at a constant speed, that you would then be able to rotate at the bottom. But it actually turns out that what you need to do at the surface is to be careful about what's happening to the torque rather than what's happening to the speed. And it all has to do with the physics of how a torsion wave propagates from the top to the bottom of the drill string. With the technology that allows you to actually steer the uh, direction in which you're drilling, you're able to actually put one drill center and drill as many as 20 to 40 wells from that one location and thereby be able to uh, recover an oil from a much larger area with a much smaller footprint. And this has both economic advantage uh, in, in that there's less infrastructure needed, but also it, has, it reduces the environmental footprint and impact significantly. By pulling together the basic research, the applied research, and the uh, technical organization in the development company, we're able to, uh, to put together several people who work on this, uh, again, over more than 10 years now. And everyone knows that Edison is the epitome of an inventor. It's a really a great honor, and I, and I feel it, it's both internally and externally, because, I mean, our company produces and manages many, many patents. I mean, the fact that the company chose this patent to, to nominate for this award in itself has been a, a great honor. To me, Edison is an American icon of innovation and technology for the progress of mankind. Um, you know, my, my father is an inventor, and, uh, you know, he always used to sing that old Gershwin song with, uh, you know, they all laughed when Edison recorded sound. So <laughs> I just remember that from my childhood. So to me, it's a huge thing.